Lads, great to see you. Um, a few interviews down already, so <laughs> we'll try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, just, Sean, starting with you, what about the points at the weekend? A lot of fans I was speaking to were a little bit disappointed with just a point. What's that say about how far Newcastle have come? Yeah, it's a big difference. I think a year ago when we went there and we got, we got battered really. And so it shows how, how far we've came. And um, I think on another day, I thought the game, I thought we'd done well defensively. I thought we're maybe a little bit sloppy on the ball. I could have been a, a little bit better, but um, I think any time you go away in the Premier League, keep a clean sheet, you can never be too sort of um, angry or disappointed. And it's, it's all the draws are going to add up. So it's definitely something to build on. So, and you've talked about Cristiano Ronaldo in the past. What was it like playing against him? Because I'll be honest, mate, you, you seem to control him pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it was a big, uh, big moment for me. I think, uh, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo is like sort of my idol. Uh, since I was was young, I'm watching him, and, and when I was playing in the garden, I'm trying to be him. So. Yeah, it was nice to play against him and uh, yeah, it was a good day for me. It's a good point and like we team. say, and, and yeah, definitely for the team. A good point like we say, uh, and a point that takes Newcastle to 15. I think it took 22 games last season for Newcastle to reach 15 points. How do you rate the start that the team's made, Sean? Um, I, think it's, I think it's been really good. I think it's been really positive. I think performance-wise, um, we've played well. and. Could have won maybe more. Yeah, pretty much all the games. I think we've the certain games we might have uh, wanted to take a few more points from. But I think if you're looking at performances, as long as you're performing well, I think results will eventually come. I think that sort of culminated last week when we're obviously with the back-to-backs against Fulham and, and Brentford, and um, when everything does click, how dangerous and how good we can be. Um, I think that's the most well, the most important and the most exciting thing for us is that. When we do get it right, we can be a, a very, very good team and a, more than a match for anyone in the league. And certainly the defence has got it right so far, Sven. Best defensive record in the league. How does that sound, given you're only a few months into your Newcastle United <laughs> career? Well, it's the job of the whole team, it's not only in defence. No, it's, uh, it's a good start. Um, yeah, it's a tough, tough league uh, with a lot of good, uh, good strikers, uh, good team. So, yeah, it's something to build on. and. Hope to keep this going and uh, get some more. You've not lost a game so far. I hate to jinx it. I probably have just jinxed it there. But you haven't lost an aerial duel either. That's not a bad start to your Newcastle career so far. You must be loving it so far. Well, um, I was always dreaming of this of this league and now I'm playing it. So, yeah, I could be any, any happier than now. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get every day better and better and uh, also with the team and I really enjoy it to play here. Uh, you see this team has a really good environment and really good structure and the team is helping each other and yeah, you see we're working on, on something big and it's uh, great to be part of it. Sean, what's it been like integrating Sven into the team and what's he like to play against in training? Uh, no, nah, he's been amazing. Um, yeah, like I, said, I think I said before when Obviously, we were chasing him for a little while and to, to finally get him over the line was obviously a, a big signing for the club and for someone who's so young, he's sort of probably wise beyond his years. I would, I would say he's so um, composed and calm and sort of there's just no panic whenever he's sort of on the ball or there's no panic whenever he's in a, a certain situation. Um, but I think even better than his football, he's such a, he's such a great person, he's such a great, a great lad and he's came in and from him singing in Austria, which was uh, obviously amazing, and the, the more time I get to spend with him, he's uh, coming out, he's uh, coming out and showing his personality even more. And I think that's one of the, the biggest strengths of our squad is how together we are, and whenever you can bring someone in um, to, to add to it and, and add to it positively, which Sven's done, is is always a massive benefit. Yeah, I was going to say I've been watching the couple of interviews that you've done so far, and you two seem to get along pretty well indeed. <laughs> what did you make of each other when you first met, Sven? What did you make of Sean straight away? Do you remember? <laughs> Typical guy from Newcastle, <laughs> <laughs> <And Georgie. laughs> Yeah. In no. what way? Well, uh, I think everybody, every country has a sort of uh, a certain way how they look to English people, uh, and he. Yeah, he sort of confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, to be fair. I was no, gonna it's say, a good you're going to have to explain that. You want to chill him, I think. <laughs> no, I, I like uh, his personality and I get on with him very well. Uh, 
No, it's just like a sort of personality is not, yeah, it's like uh, straightforward and not uh, talking behind your back or anything. And that's what I like uh, from him and from a lot of players here. So. You'll definitely get All that from the Geordies for definite Sorry? as well. You'll definitely get that from the Geordies yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. I know. I already um, found that. <laughs> sure, what did you make of Sven when you first met him to now? Geordie uh, or not? Huh? Geordie or not? <laughs> <laughs> getting there, you're getting there to be fair. Um, no, nah, like I sort of said before, he's, he's been amazing. Um, really funny, like not everything so seat like doesn't take everything so serious and you can have a laugh and a joke with him, but when it's time to sort of play and time to get serious you can, you can do that as well and I think um, obviously we've got that balance really well I think we, we, we do get on really well we sit together well sit next to each other on the bus and stuff and um, we're always laughing when we're around each other I think that's one of the, the biggest positives to trying to help someone settle in is to make them feel comfortable and I think sort of laughing and joking is a, a big and an easy way to do that so I think I, I think everyone and it's just trying to do the part to to help them get settled in because we know I've got a top player on my hands and we just want to get the best out of them. Certainly seems like it's worked. You've talked the Geordies, Sven, so far. What have you made of the Newcastle experience as a whole so far in terms of the city, in terms of seeing the fans? Because I remember when you signed and you got the bus in, the little van in, and there's already about 150 fans just waiting for you outside of St. Yeah, it was crazy. It was also new for me. <laughs> uh, well, Newcastle, is, I like it here. Uh, when the place where I live uh, is really nice. Uh, I have to find out some more places, I think, but uh, it's very busy schedule at the moment. But uh, no, really pleased uh, to be here and yeah, I'm enjoying it. You've got a perfect tour guide in, in Longy anyway, <laughs> definitely. Um, look, we, we've seen, I think the fan engagement's gone up even more this year than what it's been in previous years. We've seen Joe Linton invite, you know, fans for a kick around around his back garden. Oh, Bruno's really? done likewise. Maxi engages a lot with the fans. Has it kicked up a bit this season, Sean? And, and why is that? Um, I think there's just been a. I think we ended last season so well and everything was so positive, and I think it just carried on at the summer by sort of signing Port, we bring in Sven in, bring in Alex in, um, signing sort of top players. Um, so the, the positivity has just sort of kept growing and growing and growing. And when you start the season and you win the first game at home, the place is bouncing, and then. Um, I think we've only lost one game this season and we probably shouldn't have lost it so there's so much to be positive about and with new, the new owners and stuff I think it's, it's really exciting times and I think it's been deprived for a long time of, of everything like that and it's, I tell Sven it's not always been sort of what, he's, what or how he's seen it um, so I think everyone's just happy to have the good times back and it's our job on the pitch to, to keep that going and, and keep everyone enjoying themselves and loving coming to St James's. What's it like for you though as a native though and as an academy grad, you know, who've come through the system? Are you still getting approached a lot in the street or what? Yeah, I, I suppose sometimes it's more just asking about Sven and Bruno to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you say about them? Yeah, all good things obviously. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's amazing. And like I said, to, to grow up um, as a fan and hear my uncle especially, he's a season ticket holder with my cousins now and to hear him sort of speaking about how it used to be and then what ended up happening and then to now hopefully be out out, out the other side really and, and the positive times are coming back, it's, it's really, really exciting and um, yeah, like I said, to be from here and to to play for the club is something that's never lost on us and, and hopefully I can do that for a little while longer and um, yeah, but every day I come in and um, try and have a laugh, try and have a joke and and try and just sort of enjoy my time here because it's obviously probably not going to last well it's not going to last forever um, so while I am here I just need to sort of make sure I am enjoying it and, and doing the best I can to, to help the team. Well Sven we're not going to talk about chance or anything like that or your initiation song which I was keenly listening into uh, in the previous interview we're going to talk nicknames you've been nicknamed the Rolls Royce around here <laughs> what what are your thoughts of this nickname how's it gone down with Sven Botman? <laughs> the Rolls Royce <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a new one. Uh, well, what can I say? It's uh, it's a positive thing, I think. Does it's it work? A it's a good car, I think. Eh? 100%. Yeah. Man. <laughs> After years I've never tried it before, fair. but uh, I think it's a good car. <laughs> so we'll flip it round. If you're the Rolls Royce of a player, what sort of car would Sean be? Ooh, Ferrari. <laughs> Super, Ferrari? Yeah. I'll take that. I was thinking more like, um, what does just loads of miles on them? <laughs> <laughs> what car does loads of, what's uh, the run around car? Jeep. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a Jeep. <laughs> no, I'll give you a Ferrari. 
It's so nice, man. We'll, we'll get away from the nicknames for definitely <laughs> and the types of cars anyway. Sven, you know, when you joined, there was a project that was sold to you naturally. What was that project? And what is the ambition, would you say, of this club? Um, well, the project was exactly what you're seeing now at the club. Uh, uh, the way they're growing, uh, the ambitions. Um, yeah, the project was really big and is really big. Uh, for some people it might be too big to think about, but uh, I think we all believe in what we can achieve. And uh, yeah, it was definitely a big thing for me uh, to join the, this club. Where do you think, I mean, we talk about how big it can be. Where do you think in the future that Newcastle can and perhaps should be in the future from what you've seen so far? Well, maybe it's a little bit early days for that, but yeah, the, the ambitions are there, uh, definitely. Um, I think, yeah, the club wants to and always want to get uh, to the Champions League, uh, get high up in the table, uh, standard, not just one year and then the other year is a totally different way. Uh, yeah, so it's not easy to get there, but uh, it will take some time, but we're on a good way and I think uh, the ambitions of the club, yeah, it's been excellent so far. We'll bring it back to the present day then, this season. Let's look at it short term. What should Newcastle, bearing in mind the start that the club has had, be doing this season, do you reckon, Sean, now? Um, I think it's about building on last year. I think, um, obviously, we can't get too sort of ahead of ourselves. Um, just taking, like I said, but it sounds so boring, but it's it's the truth. It's sort of taking one game at a time and, and, and trying to just accumulate as many points as we can. And, um, if we can break into the top ten, it's it's building on last year, and I think Sven said it earlier. It's, everyone's sort of wants to get really excited, and, and pl we're players were the same. We we want to sort of finish as high as we can, but I think you've also got to sort of be realistic in in terms of of um, what we can do. Like I said, we've got a really good team, and as long as we can keep adding to it over time, there's there's no doubt that we're gonna get to where the owners and, and where everyone wants to get. And, um, I think everyone plays a part in, in how we get there, and I think this season is about building on, building on from last year. And um, yeah, hopefully we can sort of um, maybe sneak up on some teams, and, and yeah, you never know what can happen. The fans are, are obviously talking Europe potentially, given that we're only what nine games in or so in <laughs> six. It's very very early days as it stands. But should Europe realistically be on the agenda this season, Sven? Do you think? Well, I think. Uh what Long is, Long is saying, uh, top 10 is, is a good realistic target for us. Uh, we definitely want to achieve that. And yeah, if everything goes right and everything goes, uh, we are winning and stuff like that, then yeah, maybe it's possible. But we start from here and we'll see what happens. I won't press you on it. Uh, <laughs> let's talk to the manager very, very quickly, Eddie Howe. Obviously, he's had such a huge, huge impact at this club. Uh, Sean, I'm going to ask you this one. A lot of fans talking about how he has traits of the likes of Sir Bobby Robson, Kevin Keegan in him. Can you see that on a daily basis on the training pitch or not? Yeah, obviously I was probably not, well, obviously wasn't lucky enough to um, see them people work sort of first hand, but you hear the stories and you watch videos on them and obviously the gaffer here now just gets the club, he gets the city. Um, I've never seen someone be able to get players, fans, sort of everyone on the same page and all pulling in the same direction and I think that's the that's the biggest strength he's and that well that's one of his biggest strengths and that's one of the the best things I've seen him do because when the whole city's together and and you see it, it all sort of it culminates at St James Park but when the whole city's pulling together as one it's a it's a really special place and it's such a tough place for our teams to come um, but yeah the manager's been unbelievable working, working with players individually probably getting more out of players in the thought that had in them um, and like I said he's, he's been unbelievable and we're, we're really lucky to have him and um, I think we're, we're both really enjoy working with him every day and um, he's helped me become better players and, and better people and, and um, we're really privileged and happy to be working with him. Yeah I was going to say Sven, uh, he obviously brought you to the club, what have you made of Eddie so far and uh, this mentality of us against them I think that he's kind of instilled yeah. in this group too. Yeah, he's really pushing everybody to the limit. Um, he's, yeah, he's just helping. Everything, f what he's about is helping each other and him helping the team get to a higher level and get the club to a higher level. And uh, yeah, his way of doing it is just 
really positive thing for everybody. It's Sometimes, of course, he shouts at you and you think uh, he hates me, but no, it's all, it's all about helping you and uh, he really gets to, to your mind and, and be, be able to, to, what Long said, like be able to do things. Maybe you never thought you could do this. Um, so yeah, really pleased with him. We see the calm side of Eddie Howe. <laughs> he has that switch, doesn't he? On the training ground as well, where you think, Oh, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything back. <laughs> yeah, he's really passionate, eh? I would say. Yeah, he's. But everybody is. 100%, so man. It's a good click between uh, everybody. Yeah. Definitely. Let's round things off with looking ahead to tomorrow night. Everton, of course. Uh, last season they were struggling. Uh, Frank Lampard seems to, seems to have steadied the ship a little bit. What have you made of Everton so far this season? So far? Yeah, obviously, <coughs> I think. Looking back at last year, they were probably in a position they didn't normally find themselves in, and they were able to fight out of it. And then they've brought in some, brought in some good players to, to start the season. And they've obviously started well, and um, I know it's going to be a really tough game. But especially with the way we're playing and the, the confidence that's in the group, I think any team that comes to St James's Park, especially on a nighttime game, they know it's going to be tough. The, the place is going to be bouncing, and, and we've got to get everyone sort of uh, out the seats and make that atmosphere as tough as possible for them to play in and um, I think if we do that then we've got a real chance of, of taking points from the game but we know it's going to be tough, we know they're a good side but um, so are we and um, it's another game we're, we're, looking, we're really looking forward to and um, yeah, like I said it probably makes, if we can win tomorrow night it makes the point on Sunday even better. Just on that atmosphere finally Sven, obviously you've encountered the St James's Park atmosphere plenty of times by now not necessarily a nighttime atmosphere. How much are you looking forward to seeing the stadium with 52,000 Geordies under the lights on a Wednesday yeah. night? Normally in a weekend, uh, on the uh, middle day, it's already amazing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see it in the night. Everybody's talking about that even more than uh, than normal than a league game in, in the weekend. But uh, for me, every every game is just yeah, amazing with his fans and all, always uh, when we play away, they are there. So, uh, no, for me, it's already good enough, but if it can even better, then I'm pleased with that.